Hey, this is Kat Von D, and today I'm going to show you how to get this look. I've called it the after hours look. You know, I really like this look because I think it's a different approach to, you know, your typical smoky eye. You still have the impact of a very dark or dramatic look like that, but there's still a little bit of sparkle and a little bit more of a cool bluer sheen to it all. Because this is such a dramatic look, I want to use some of my eye primer and really just spread it evenly all the way to the top of my brow. It's pretty powerful stuff, so you don't really need that much. So the first step to this look is gonna be taking this really awesome color. I've named it Holy Bible, and I'm just gonna lightly sweep it at the top of the brow bone. Using this color at the top like this is gonna really make it super easy for me to later on blend the deeper shade. So the main shade that I'm gonna use for this look, it's called Oddfellow, and it's a very deep black with blue, beautiful little sparkles in it. Um, in order to preserve the glitter, what I'm gonna do is I'm just going to use a blending brush and then just lightly use just a tad bit of it. And then I'm gonna basically just shade out the shape that I want. Once I've established that general shape, I'm gonna go back in, but using a smudge brush, I'm gonna use the same color, but I'm gonna pat it on. And the reason we do this is just so that the blue glitter, you can actually see it. This is how we're gonna get a really sparkly look. It's okay if it doesn't look perfect at first, because I usually like to go back and forth and use the blending brush just to smoothen everything out. So I'm just gonna take a little bit and then just blend the two parts together. Once that's done, I'm gonna go back to that nice little smudge brush, and using just the top of it, I'm gonna go and lightly pat some of that glitter onto the bottom lid. The final step that I'd like to do for the eyeshadow part of this look is going back to Holy Bible, which has this really nice, cool tone blue iridescence to it. A neat trick is gonna be to layer this on top of Oddfellow because you'll find that there's a secret shade that comes out of it. This will also help just soften the look overall instead of giving you those raccoon eyes. Once I've successfully blended it, I'm gonna go ahead and do the same thing for the bottom lid. As far as eyeliner goes, I'm gonna use two different kinds. I'm gonna use pencil for the inner lid. Once that's done, I'm gonna use my tattoo liner in Trooper Black. I'm gonna go pretty dramatic on it just because it's already a very dark look. It'll be a very subtle detail that'll make a huge difference. Last but not least, I'm going to use my Sinful Mascara to complete this look. I like to kind of mix and match my color schemes between eyes and lips, so I use Backstage Bambi for this one, which is more of a pop pink color, um, and it definitely balances out the darkness. Cool, so there you have it, it's pretty easy. Hopefully you guys will check out the Spellbinding Eyeshadow book because much like a tattoo, there are a million ways of approaching a certain look and this is just one of the very many of them.